Today we're going to be speaking with Wen Wutao, mm. Jackie Wen, as he calls himself in English, is a friend I just recently made here in the terraces of Yinyuan, the Hongi Hani rice fields. Yes. Mm. And I'm going to share with you the power of connections and how one connection changed Jackie's life. Jackie. Hello everyone. As you know, I'm from a small village in Yuanyang, which is very far, very remote from the city. So uh, before, like every uh, villager here, I worked in the fields and uh, also I worked uh, like uh, sometimes I went to the mountain to feed uh, the animals. Uh, like So I was like uh, working as a local tour guide here. Everyone said in China, knowledge is it changes your life. Knowledge changes yeah. your life. Yes, yes, it exactly happened uh, to me here. Yeah. Because uh, before I didn't speak English very well, but uh, since uh, about 20 years ago, foreigners, they started to come here. Because before no Chinese people came here. Okay. It just uh, happened like six years ago. Okay. Because uh, the, our uh, hometown was put in the list of uh, World Heritage okay. of uh, UNESCO. UNESCO World Heritage. Yeah, yes, yes, exactly. So uh, at that time, uh, because uh, sometimes uh, I will, uh, met some uh, foreigners. Yeah. They came to me to ask me uh, something about uh, the, some information okay. about the tour here. Okay. But at that time, I didn't speak in English very well. Okay. Little by little, I became interested in English okay. because I really wanted to uh, to uh, like uh, talk with the foreigners to communicate with how, them. How did you learn? I just learned by myself. Uh, I downloaded some uh, video wow. or some uh, like uh, something for training listening and the, or TV or internet. Uh, also, I, sometimes I worked as a tour guide. Yeah, I lead the people, uh, foreigners to to do some tracking. Afterwards, it's a uh, it's a really a good chance. The French photographer came here. So just to stop for a second. So you yes. were a Chinese um, person living yeah. here, just were passionate about learning English to yeah. help help others that came. Uh -huh. And then one day, some French guy came, yeah. comes here. Yeah, one day the chance came. The chance came. Yeah. They can call that destiny. Yeah, destiny. I was guide for him for five days. Okay. He was doing a project. It's a seven year project to cover the whole world. Okay. So it's a it's a kind of a, like a cultural uh, project sponsored by the UNESCO. So after five days, he asked me, uh, would you like to be my assistant? Because maybe we uh, work together very well. So after uh, Yuan Yang, uh, he asked me to work at the first beginning. We just uh, planned to work for two or three months yeah. for some uh, Asian countries. But uh, after uh, two or three months, he asked me to. He asked me again, "Would you like to continue?" Okay. But he said that uh, next year you have to be prepared mentally and uh, physically because he said, uh, "Oh, we are going to uh, Middle East or some uh, like a, it's like a one year project in Muslim countries." You end up spending one year per continent, you told me. One year for one continent, yeah. Wow, and how many years total? Uh, totally uh, four years. Four yeah. years. We spent uh, one year like uh, one year in Asia, one year in Middle East, and one year around Europe. Yeah. And this was not the plan in the beginning, right? You no. said it was just a four-month project? Uh, three months. Three-month yeah. project as an yeah. assistant. Uh -huh. So obviously, whatever you were doing, he was loving. Yeah, I and think he so. Just kept saying <laughs> to add yeah, time, yeah. it changed your life. Yeah, you it's really... a totally changed my mind uh, because uh, it's, it was my first time to go abroad. Yeah, and uh, when he told me, oh, next year we are going to Middle East, I had no idea where is the Middle East. Yes, yes. <laughs> so it's really totally changed my mind. Yeah, and uh, after uh, that uh, journey. I came back here yeah. uh, to my village, a small village. When I came back uh, after the trip, 
uh, for the first half year, it's really tough for me. Yeah. Because uh, you know, uh, uh, for four years, uh, continuously we traveled uh, to different countries and uh, we 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 met different people. We saw a different view every day. Yeah. But suddenly, I came back here, and uh, before coming back here, here he. Uh, the photographer, he said, you have to be prepared again mentally this time, prepared. Because uh, you are now, after four years trip, now you are going back to your yeah. uh, your, your village, a small village. Back to your old life. Yeah, only like uh, six or seven hundred people in this village. Yeah. And uh, you, normally you, 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 you see the, uh, the same people every day. Yeah. So it's just like we did a trip yes. to the moon yes. and suddenly we landed. Back. Yeah, without parachute. That's it's a really a big change, and uh, change. you will feel a big loss for the first half year when I came back. It's really I really feel like tough, and uh, yeah, I feel lost. Yeah, yeah, I can understand. Yeah, but uh, afterwards uh, I decided to. I think maybe it's a good idea to open a small guest house oh. in my village. So in this way, I can meet. Uh, like uh, people, different people every day from uh, everywhere, wow. all around the world. Wow. That's how I got this idea. Wow. Uh -huh. Wow. And so then, you followed your heart. Yeah, I followed the heart and then I opened this uh, guest house. And uh, although I, I cannot uh, travel uh, every day like before, but uh, every day I meet, I could meet uh, different people and I can talk. Uh, with the different people right. from all around the world. It's like you can travel without having to travel. Yes, exactly. My body uh, is not, not traveling, yeah. but my mind. My mind is traveling when I was talking with uh, people like you. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Is there any one thing that has changed you from this whole experience? Yeah, my mind. How I, like, uh, because uh, my mind uh, became, before I was, uh, I'm from a small village. So my mind is very, like, uh, uh, limited. Yeah. After the traveling, I became a, I say, a very open minded. Because honey people, generally speaking, honey people we are like a reserve. Also, honey people we speak only our honey language, not open minded. Yes. But after this uh, four years trip, I became uh, more uh, open minded and uh, global speak, citizen. Yes, I, more like an international. Wow. Yeah. So uh, I speak better English. So I have a better mind to communicate. And what is this book that you're holding? This is a, like a book of our project. Okay. It's a, the French photographer's pro project. We okay. were like assistant. It's a, a project about uh, uh, culture. Okay. Culture from different uh, uh, continent or from different people. And uh, it's called a Wisdom for Humanity. It's a very interesting book and uh, project. There are 365 pictures as well as the philosophies from that continent. There's some connection between the philosophy and the picture. So this is not just a picture book. This is really connecting. Yeah, connecting. The yeah. pictures with the philosophy of yes. the culture uh -huh. and of the yeah. region. Yes, wow. yes, exactly. I mean, I opened the book briefly last mm. night. It was amazing. Yeah. And this you can just buy on Amazon. Yeah, Amazon, you can wow. find it. Yeah. Wow, yes, that's uh, awesome. And uh, the photographer, his name is uh, Olivier For Me. Yeah. Olivier For Me. For me. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, Jackie, with that, uh, that's an amazing story. Do you have anything, any one thing you want to share with your audience about the power of connection or the importance of opening your mind? Yeah. Yeah, for me, I have to say that uh, everyone can be lucky. And everyone can be uh, like uh, can be lucky to have a good chance to change your life, but you have to be prepared. Yeah, if uh, if if you prepared, when the chance is there, you can grab it. Yeah. Wow. So everyone should be prepared yeah, for that sure. si for exactly. that chance encounter. Yeah. yeah. And know how to take the opportunity yeah. when it comes. Yes. Exactly. As I said, uh, as we Chinese, we always say knowledge can change your life. That's knowledge really happen. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, and that was Jackie. And for all you people out there that are watching this video, if you have a power of connection that you want to share or something that has inspired you that has made a meaningful difference in your life, please comment below and click to subscribe and like my channel. Um, we'll be providing a lot of these kinds of interviews on my travels here in China with folks that I find inspiring and that can change the world.
What's up guys? If you like this video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to our channel below. We appreciate the support.